Hello everybody. So today we're doing something new that we've never done before. We're going to Disney Springs to the House of Blues. They have a like Sunday morning gospel brunch and we've never done it before. So we're trying it for the first time today. I'm super excited. It's another overcast day. It's like drizzling right now. It's really not that bad. There's like no sun the whole day. So hopefully it doesn't get that bad because we would like to go on the hot air balloon. That's like one of our favorite things. I literally just missed a huge lightning bolt that just came down right there. Anyway though, we just got to Disney Springs. The balloon is not up. I hear thunder, so I probably should start walking. Rest in peace to uh, Disney Quest. The building was still up last time we were here in February. Um, they just had like the walls around it, but the whole building was still there. Now it's, it's not there anymore. This drink is a limit one. Oh, it's, nice. <laughs> it's a nice margarita. Oh. We're really good. Shrimp, tacos. Alright, cheers. Woohoo! Swamp water! Are we sure you want me to review House of Blue? Uh, okay, I'll give a little review. So, Mommy Flag was the gospel brunch, but that was next door, so we just ate at House of Blue. We had a regular lunch. The food was outstanding. We're all very pleased with our meal, but the service not so much. We got there at 1.30 and we didn't leave until like 3.45 and that was not because of us. We were waiting for drinks, we were waiting for food, we were waiting for everything for so, so, so long. That would be about right. Definitely not the best service I've ever had, but definitely the fried chicken was amazing. Yeah, the food was really good. The food was really good, but you have to decide you have a couple of hours to spare. Yeah, and then, should have vlogged the pen, I didn't vlog the pen. We finally get the check, and my mom opens it up, and there's a pen in there, but there's no ink inside of the pen. It's literally just like the plastic. We're like, are you kidding? Like that just topped it all off. So we had to wait. We asked like five different people for a pen, and nobody had a pen. Which I find very odd in a restaurant. In a restaurant, not have a none pen, of the waiters and waitresses, no one has a pen. Back at my favorite place, listen. This place, I 100% recommend. Absolutely. For food, for service, for drinks, for anything. Bowling. For bowling, for music, for everything you could ever want. It's a great little place. You get to sit outside and have a nice breeze, a nice drink. Adrian over here is taking wonderful care of us. The swamp water, you want to try it. I highly recommend it. So good. If you like anything blue flavored, like blueberry, like it is a perfect combination of sweet and sour. It's the bomb. So good. Now we're going to try to go get on the balloon. Yeah, if that, luckily the weather cleared up. I showed, but it was lightning before we got here. There was some bad lightning. So it wasn't up. It wasn't even open when we got here. The skies are clear. Skies are blue now. So I'm hoping that it's open because we passed by that to go shop. So. Yes. Have you done it? Never been on the balloon. Linda's never been on it and Eric has never been on it. So it'll be two first time. As long as it's open. Yeah. What'd you get? He likes it. Strawberry juice. He got strawberry something. I think it's like white water, but he loves it. So it's good. Disney Corner, which is the Disney store that we didn't get to go to last time that closed 20, 30 minutes early that we literally just missed by a minute. Um, so we're finally in here, and it's all kids stuff because it's all the stuff that is not in World of Disney because they're obviously redoing all of it. In a previous video, I showed you guys some of World of Disney that they redid. So this is just here temporarily. It's been here since February, so it won't be here much longer once they're done with World of Disney. All of this stuff will be in World of Disney. <laughs> Wait. Where it goes. 
goes. Oh, wait, Eric. <laughs> Eric's in the back of the store. He's running. I can't shift. You ready? You can't shift. Alright, smile. Wait, Eric. Alright. I'm Eric's passenger on the motorcycle. Mm. Where are we going? Uh, our hotel. You're gonna give me a ride to the hotel? Alright, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so me and Linda got the millennial pink drink. And do you remember what was in it? A champagne, chambord. I know, I don't remember the other thing. Hibiscus then, something, right? Hibiscus, uh, hibiscus, hibiscus. Some hibiscus thing. And, and what's on top? Dark chocolate and white chocolate made to uh, color thing. All right, cheers. Cheers, my dear. We're going to have to take our little Yeah, you're going to have to take the head off. <laughs> get the little sippy cup thing you just pay for um, a refill rather than like a whole new drink so we just got home from Disney Springs and I bought a few things nothing major but um, I want to show you guys what I picked up so the first place I went to was Mac definitely did not buy this there but this was in there so the first thing I got was this lipstick that I'm wearing right now. It's the MAC Honey Love 605. And I've wanted this lipstick for probably like two years now. So it's just this beauty guru. Is this how they do it? Um, just like a nude, nice, like, I don't even have like a lip liner on. I did buy a liner though. But this is just nice to just like throw on. It's just like the perfect neutral like, but still color. The next thing that I got was a lip liner to go with it. Sometimes I like to wear lip liner by itself. I don't know why I do it. I just like, sometimes I just like fill in like my whole lips with lip liner and I don't bother like putting lipstick on. Good thing I bought a sharpener because this is one that you sharpen. This is a lip liner. It's slightly darker than the lipstick just because I like having a darker liner and this one is called Nice and spicy. So I think about this. I swatched them next to each other in my hand And I think that they look really really nice together because they're the same like Brown neutrally kind of family, but this one is just like slightly darker. So it's the perfect combination So the last thing that I got from Mac just a little travel size of the Prep and Prime setting spray, which is one of my favorite setting sprays. Right now, I'm between the Kat Von D Locket spray, this one, and Urban Decay. I just always tend to buy, I don't know, I just love their setting spray, always. Even their, like, primer spray, too. Works amazing. This is always good because sometimes I'll, like, forget to spray setting spray on. Or, like, if I have a show and I'm, like, doing my makeup there and I need to bring setting spray, like, I'd rather bring this than the full bottle, which is literally three times the size of this. I'd rather not carry that around. And the next thing that I've got is something Disney. Wow. I've wanted these earrings for so long. They're just these little hoop earrings that have Swarovski Mickeys on them. And I think they're so cute. They do also make these in like the birthstones. And I was gonna get my birthstone, but mine's February, which is purple. But I was just thinking like if I'm gonna wear these Often, I'd rather just get something neutral. I know we'll go with a lot because I really wouldn't wear purple earrings with like an orange outfit. Not that I ever wear orange outfits, but I just feel like these are nicer, classier. The colorful ones are like more like childish. So I figure that these are a little more sophisticated. <laughs> the next thing that I got, I actually put on my Disney Pandora. Um, I have the little 
like silhouette Mickey Pandora bracelet. I didn't want to lose them, so I put them on here because I wasn't wearing my Disney charm bracelet. So I got my favorite character. Love Mike Wazowski. So I gotta switch him over to my charm bracelet. And the last thing that I got, I think, besides candy, I brought um, sour gummy worms because those are my favorite from Goofy's Candy Co. So this Tower of Terror magic band, which I'm so excited about. Um, I got the millennial pink one and I got the Tower of Terror pattern on it. I did custom make it. Um, took about 30 minutes. It was ready before then. I got there like 10 minutes early and it was already sitting in a drawer. So probably honestly 15 minutes after you order it, depending on like if they're busy or... So I'm super thrilled to finally have a Tower Magic Band again since mine is the first Magic Band and it doesn't work anymore. And I finally got millennial pink. Had to be basic. Don't have the rose gold ears, but I have the millennial pink Magic Band. So like... You gotta win somehow, right? Like. So that's everything we got today. Um, we also had Gear Deli ice cream shot. And I think that's it. No. 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 It's raining, I don't even know why I have sunglasses in my head. I really hope that there's mimosas. But since it's like a Sunday gospel brunch, I don't know if there is. Are you in now? No. <laughs> Why are you just staring at me? Stop! Look somewhere else! Nobody say anything, I'm making a video.